John, the follower of Jesus, it was interesting. Early in his ministry, he's wanting to call down from fire from heaven. That was his answer. He call down fire from heaven, you know. And then when they got crowded, it's like, send the people away. Send the people away. Send the people away. That was his answer, you know. It's almost like his ministry thing would be great if it wasn't for the people. People get, get them away. There's kids. Get the kids away. That's not the answer. But this same John, when he wrote the epistles, 1 John, 2 John, 3 John, he's a changed man. 1 John 4, 12, he says, no one has ever seen God, but if we love each other, God lives in us. And his love is brought to full expression in us. That cool God, John says, hey, if somebody loves God, God and they love each other. That's a good thing. Somebody loves each other. That's proof they have a relationship with God. That was the test, love. And John goes on. He, 1 John 4, 19, we love him because he first loved us. 1 John 4, 12, we love each other because he first loved us. 1 John 5, 2, we know we love God's children if we love God and obey his commandments. Love, 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 love. What's the proof of your faith? The love. And don't tell me how spiritual you are if I can't see the love. The old saying, you know, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Second John 5 and 6 says, I am writing to remind you, dear friends, that we should love one another. This is not a new commandment, but one that we've had from the beginning Love means doing what God has commanded us, and he's commanded us to love one another, just as you heard from the beginning. Love one another. In the midst of it, love one another. During the battles, love one another. And part of loving one another is defending one another. Yeah, I've... I was at one meeting and the pastor was, <laughs> God gives me boldness sometimes. The pastor was talking about how his people didn't know the Bible. I mean, openly complaining with other Bible people don't know the Bible. They don't read the Bible. They don't know the Bible. He goes on, on and on. And I just got a little tired of it. And I said, well, what are you teaching them? I mean, here's the guy that's supposed to be teaching on the Bible, talking about they don't know the Bible. Just struck me as a little odd. He didn't answer. He just kind of looked at me. But no, again, loving each other is at odds. It has friction with the world. The world's not about loving each other. Maybe they say they do, but that's a different kind of love than we're talking about. Part of this battle that goes on is people speaking ill of us as we follow Jesus and fight the good fight. Luke 6, chapter 26 says, Woe to you. Woe to you when all men speak well of you. For so did their fathers to the false prophets. Jesus said, Woe to you. Now, there's what you call the woes in the gospel. And it's a little interesting trail to follow. Woe unto you when you do this. Woe unto you if you do that. And Jesus, we want people to like us. We want people to say nice things about us. And sometimes they will. But if you're following Jesus, guess what? Sometimes they won't. And if everybody's speaking well of you, Jesus is saying, there's an issue. 